Hello everyone, I hope that you're all safe and well and smiling. You um, might remember during our 2021 events to celebrate international collaboration that the uh, CTEL alumni and part two colleague Zoom come in party included a pass the baton round on our fun events there. Um, went down quite well, a few people asked if we could try it as a further round of kind of recorded one-on-one -on -one conversations um, between alumni and part two colleagues really, just an earthy chat with a budget of zero, um, one of the comments said, um, which was an attempt to keep it real I think, so that's what uh, we're initiating. Today it's the first Pass the Baton interview, hopefully the first of many. Um, and just to explain, the interviewer essentially picks somebody from their own network of alumni or part two community, somebody they've always wanted to ask a few questions about, tell perhaps a tell hero. The person interviewed then becomes the interviewer and picks somebody they'd like to speak with and so on and so on, hence passing the bat on. Um, that person needs to be a CTEL alumni or part two colleague. Uh, so the interviewer and the interviewee are both CTEL alumni or part two colleagues. Um, the intended audience comprises either people who are thinking about the TEL program, people who are currently on the program, or people who completed, but for one reason or another, aren't um, members of the centre just yet. So if that does describe you, please get in touch so that we can keep you all informed. We plan for around a 20 minute format. It can take any direction that both parties wish. There are just five standard questions which we'd like to be asked of people in every interview. And the rest is up to whoever asks and whoever answers, you know. Um, and those five questions are on the screen there. Uh, what does tell mean to you? What do you remember most about the program? What do you get out of being part of the centre, if you are part of the centre? Uh, what do you wish you'd known when you started? That could be either when you started your PhD or when you started in TEL, because, you know, for people in our community, those are, are potentially two very different points in time. And who are you going to ask to interview? So, of course, when you're asked to be an interviewee, you probably want to be polite and ask whoever you're going to interview um, so that they find out before the rest of the world does, or at least the rest of the community who watch these videos. Obviously, there'll be other questions in there, nice conversations, a nice relaxed tone, and hopefully the interviews will be of interest to alumni, part two colleagues, and perhaps others too. Okay, take care, cheerio.